I'll take that one all day long. This is Sydney Guajardo coming to you live from San Antonio, Texas. And we are the trading places. Boy, this US 30 is making me work for this account. <laughs> I've made $70 today on a um, $4,500 account. Keep adding to it. That's one day's work of worth of work. I've gone through about 10 or 15 trades today already and uh, all of them are um, in pullback mode right now. Uh, let me show you what I mean here. Not this one. Euro dollar. So, um, actually, this one already started, so I'm going to take this one short. Um, and this one, Euro dollar. Okay, so let's go through a few and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Went short just like we talked about. You'd have made good money if you stayed in that one overnight. So this is obviously on a this is obviously a short call here. Let's get right it here. Okay, so you have this one. All right, so you have this one coming down. It just pulled back and started coming back down again. You'll always have this pullback. It's always a way of uh, bankers collecting their money. They also do that out of consolidation. Like right here was consolidation. They took everybody's money. This was just an equity pullback, and that's what they're going down. And this well, earlier this morning, this wasn't happening. So. This is happening to the same thing here. Um, this may be the start of a new trend. We'll have to see on this one. There's no agreement on this one. So let me erase this. I'm just gonna put a small arrow. So no agreement this session here. Let's put our I'm gonna put a text here, watch for a new trend. Euro yen. Okay, same thing with this one. There's no agreement. But first, let's um, erase all this stuff. See how it was at the bottom and just popped up? Yeah, that's what you want to look for. Stuff like that. Good trades.
<clears throat> we'll know Sunday or even later today. But the indicators are all out of whack, so it's um, they're not agreeing. So we just don't take the trade. Aussie dollar, US dollar. Okay, so this one, see how it's going short? It went up and it's kind of come back down again. And that makes the indicators just not agree on anything. So we just need a few more candles to see if it's going to truly go back down. So what we'll do is we have um, the ultimate is still a short trade. Let's verify all this here. They're all going to be like this. Let's kind of take a look over here, see where we're at. <clears throat> um, see, this is a very strong downward trend that went up, so we'll we're gonna have to wait on that one. Euro yen very strong pullback and now it's trending down Aussie dollar is the same thing pound is the same thing this one's starting to turn down let's sell this one pound dollar Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of training, some quick training on um, the Rochelle. Okay, so when you're looking at a trade, let's say you want to trade, what I always do is I find the trend first, right? Let me see something here. See something, just give me one second. Whoops. Okay, good. All right, so what I do is I find the trend. Six, when you're scalping, 60 minutes is perfect. So, in this case, the trend is long. So that's our foundation right there. So on gold right now, currently, it's, in a sh it's going short. That doesn't mean that the trend is changing. That means that the candle is going down. That's all it means. There's a lot of movement here. All that indicates is that's just the movement within this candle. So it doesn't mean gold is going down. Well, for the moment it is. 
Like this one, it, the candle just turned red. Well, so did this one and this one, but it's still going long. Do another one here. we we'll call this one a little, it's just a long shorty. <laughs> or retracement. That's all it is. It's just a, this, I'm referring to this little candle here. So this, this is all you have to look at. So I don't, just because gold is going down for the moment, don't, don't take it short. Um, just because gold is going short for the moment, don't take it. Wait until it comes back around. US 30 is the same way. No. I really believe US 30, it, it's taken a shit right here. I mean, it just went really low. But right now, this looks like a new trend. So what I would do, it's been going up for the last, I don't know, how many candle, 15 hours? So even though this is going up right now, I really want to wait until the vessel is over the rope. So we'll wait until that happens. It's going up, it's tempting to take, uh, but we still have this Bollinger Band as resistance. I wonder if this is all hooked up. Give me one second here. Should be. Okay, so, I mean, this is definitely going up and it's really tempting to take, but see how it just dropped down a little bit? So I'm gonna wait, the perfect trend, the perfect one is when maybe this rope, like right here, let me show you. When this rope right here looks like this one. I wish all three screens, when I take a trade, I want all three screens to look like this. The vessel is over the rope and there's plenty of space. I don't know what the theory is behind it. It just works for me that way. But it can, I mean, I, I, I practice this all the time. And um, US 30 is so volatile. I mean, it's great. <laughs> I mean, look, I, I sweated all that time when I took US 30 short. And it looked like I wanted to, I felt like I wanted to jump off of a small roof when it retraced a little bit. But if I would have stayed in it, look, I mean, that $4,000 account would have been 20000 right now. But you don't know that. It's easy to look at the, you know, hindsight is always twenty twenty. You can say, oh, if I would have done this, well, okay, uh, everybody has perfect vision then. But when, when you're right in the middle of it, you don't see it. That's why you have to look at trend all the time. If you just look at trend all the time, it'll, it'll show that, right? So, but, and, and then, but with US 30, you can't have that, you kind of have to have that thinking but you also have to be a little smarter because look at this. I'll go to US 30 and it looks like short, short is the trend. Well, now it's trending up, but that's a minute. So look at the four hour, it's still trending down. Now look at this, you wanna look at the day one, look at this, it's trending up. It's been trending up all this time. For the last 60 days, it's been going up. It just had this last two days have been very bad. Look at the week. So we've already determined that this is the new trend, right? Look at the weak trend. It's been going down. <laughs> well, here, now look at the month. Totally different view. See, it's been trending up. It fell right here, but for the last three years, I mean, this is, um, there's gotta be, I guess right about here would be the time, um, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if you look at the month, it's taken right here was probably during the Barack Obama era. Right here is the Donald Trump era. Right here, there was, it was just steadily going up. It went down and probably went right when he got elected. 
it just went up. This is very close to the three-year mark that he's been in office, the one-month era, or the one-year era. So is it a safe bet to take U.S. 30 long and stay in it for four years? I mean, <laughs> it's, it's um, right here. You probably would have lost a lot of money, but think this thing just keeps trending up and up. Look, if you look at all the Forex pairs, all of them have been trending down for the last years. You, you look, Euro 30, I mean, Euro dollar, look at this. Most currencies have been going down. Um, let's go here, hold on. Euro dollar on the month. Down. This has been kind of ranging. Kind of ranging. Now these are just the big pairs, maybe pump the ones that have been uh, paired with the dollar or the euro. But I read in an article that most most trading pairs have been uh, currency pairs have been trending down for the last few for the last few years. So maybe anything with the dollar has been trending up. But look at this one, pound dollar. But anyway, we like to trade with the trend. Um, currency is a little bit different when you, you never look at the month to, to, to trade with the trend because Forex is not something that you want to take for long term. You know, a week is about as long as you want to go. Um, we call this intraday trading, day trading. When you take a stock or some type of mutual fund or hedge fund, they, what they, there's a saying in trading is called slow money is big money. Well, in Forex, slow money is like a week. <laughs> uh, short money or intraday trading would be like what we do. We stay in a trade. We usually close our positions uh, by the end of the day. Most of the times we're in them for a few minutes or an hour or whatever. You got to let them set up. Um, like this one here, it's a slow mover. The one I'm in, the euro dollar. And we took it short. But we look at the four hour to get a big picture of it. It's going short now. It just retraced a little bit, but it's going short. And then we took pound dollar. And it's going short as well. See that? It's going short. Um, a lot of these trades today are doing, there's a signal to come short and it retraced and it's coming back down. So um, it's all going to be okay. I'm, I'm down right now half a percent, half a point. But look, all these were down. I was down. Mm, look how many trades I took yesterday. This is all, I haven't taken any trades today. On this, On this right here, it shows that I have. But this is based on the time frame that the broker's in, which is in another, another part of the world. But I took all these trades according to my clock yesterday. Um, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 trades. And that was, you know, it's 20, 35, 45, 55. 60, 70, 80, 95, a hundred thousand dollars. It sounds like a lot of money, but that's only a little under two percent on an account this big. So I've made um, eight hundred and twenty. Now this is a demo account, and I'm auditioning for a um, a trader overseas, but. I've only made, um, almost made 20% on this account in a little over a month, maybe six weeks. And that is very good. Considering accounts this size, um, with normal trading, 10% is crushing it for a year. And I'm going to do this month in, month out. So I'll probably do 10% a month. Um, also, this particular broker, since it's a demo account, they have me uh, handcuffed 
on this because they only allow me to do a hundred a hundred lots now when you sacrifice more I mean you'll make more money this obviously would have been a bigger amount but the losses would have been bigger as well so like this right here probably would have been closer to one percent loss right now it just it's keep it's keeping on climbing but it's just retraced just a little bit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna it's pound dollar I'm gonna set the loss to right about here it'll tell me this is what I like about MT4 it tells you if you if you pull it out there it's 23,900 so what a, what a stop what a what a take profit is is when the when the money gets to this line it'll take me out of the trade which is a little past support line so but it'll come around just need to wait a little bit and euro dollar same thing I'm gonna take it to this support line just past it 22 pips and that'll put me just under 1% so it looks like it's starting to come back down who knows but anyway all the trade pairs there's there's nothing really to set up so I've kind of already gone over scalping is very easy just make sure you're trading with the trend and it'll all come back so if you look at this right here let me see where Twenty five eight sixty six. It's struggling to get past that. It may pass it a little bit, but that's a resistance line. So the money's going to test and test and test. Once it breaks, see there it goes. It just keeps heading heading north. So this is good. It's already tested the money and it's going north. This would be a good a, a good. Um, this would be a good um, um, trade to take right now. But I've had a pretty rough week. Things have gone okay for the week, but um, you know the um, I had that scare twice. I had my internet go down while I was in a scalp on US thirty. I mean, it's the worst thing ever. Um, the other day we were eating TV, eating dinner, and the TV fell off the wall. Um, <laughs> there was a bracket. the The installation was done correctly, but it was faulty equipment. It's been the, map, the the mount has been there for several years and uh, well not several maybe two and the part collapsed and the TV fell thank God there was things under the TV it was a very expensive TV and um, little things like that that don't really get me down but they're like little signals like hey <laughs> maybe you're moving too fast or something just take it easy so other than that everything's gone pretty smooth and all these little things that happen I'm I'm gonna I'm going to um, make a video on how to handle adversity. Little things like that don't bother me. Um, the TV falling, you know, near tragedies on Forex, it's nerve wracking at the time. But I've already forgotten about it. But I, I bring it up to tell my students that little things like that, yes, they they do matter. But it's how you handle it. Uh, how do you handle adversity? I'm going to be doing some videos this weekend if I can get around to it. And um, they're very, very educational. Um, uh, and uh, it's, it's mainly about mindset on how to move forward and how to make money. It's all mindset. But anyway, um, that's about it for today. Just make sure and look for some of these trades that are pulling back. They're definitely going to go in the other direction. So if you have Sierra charts, anything that was in retracement, like this particular one it, it this one may be a new trend this is a bad example but like this one is definitely a downtrend this is what retracement looks like and it usually continues with the trend but this isn't a currency this is an indice so it works a little different I'll show you one real quick downtrend retracement it's gonna go down again that's a very good example right there so if you have Sierra charts look at your charts Look at them down before you take them. I've already taken two, and they're about to come down. So anyway, guys, today's the last session for the day or for the week. We will start up again on Sunday, uh, 6 p.m. Central. And um, 
outside of that, we're done. If you'd like to join up and be a student, we are at uh, thetradingplaces.com. It's three ninety nine to start, ninety nine dollars a month, and you receive the world class charting training twice a week, and access to the VIP room where we give out trades. I haven't been giving out any trades this week because I've been um, I've give a few out, but uh, um, I've been meeting with programmers to work on this program you're looking at right now. But uh, with everything going on in the world, you know, I think we could all come together and just be a little nicer. Um, I think for the most part, there's more good than bad. So it's always going to be there. It's just right now it's been sensationalized. And I wonder why. It's the election. So don't take it too serious. It's not as bad as the media seems. It's always been there. Good will always overcome evil. But we, we have to fight the hard fight every single day. So and I really believe that we're put on this planet to help people that can't help themselves. So do the right thing even when no one is watching. That's true character. You don't have to put on Facebook that you help some poor old man. There's no need in that. But anyway, if we all do that, the world will be a better place. All right, so from San Antonio, my name is Sidney Guajardo. We uh, thank you for having trading places in your life. We'll talk to you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.